Oh, today, another absolute scorching day. We've got two more days of this and we'll be um, home free. Hopefully, I think today's the last day of summer. So that's a really good um, sign for me, I tell you, because I do not like the heat at all. I'm a cold climate person. So um, bring on winter. And I think the birds will like that a little bit more too, just because, uh, yeah, the heat definitely slows these little guys down a little bit. Um, see the floors looking pretty good. I'm gonna get in here. I'll probably scrape that tomorrow Give that a nice little tidy up. Hopefully I'll finish work a little bit earlier and we can get that sort of side done These are the young birds Still need a lot of work into these ones. They were a little bit late uh, We just didn't really have too much luck this season with our breeding. It was just so slow We had a fair few inferno eggs, so we're just chipping away doing what we can um, but we do have the older birds on this side which are definitely more positive in how they'll perform these ones will be more case by case i still want to toss these ones um, when they are ready which is still going to be a couple months away we've still got three months i think till race uh until the racing so we've got a bit of time what are you up to um probably a little bit longer too because i know i didn't want to race sprint two this year but i've noticed the sprint two races this season you're a little bit cheeky you shouldn't have jumped in here um just come through when I come through so I need to put you back in there but I noticed the sprint two the first two races are like really short so um, we do have some options this year which is really good I might just quickly grab that hen before I forget about her and what you will notice now um, I did say in yesterday's video that we are going to open up all these boxes so you'll notice that there are some pairs starting to take boxes so we've got this pair down the bottom there they're sort of taking that one over um, most of the other ones are in pairs as well. They were originally in there. They were breeding in there. And uh, most of them, there's cockbirds that have both been in those boxes before. I think this one might be a cockbird up here too. This is one of the other tiger grizzles. I've only bred two this year. Um, and that's the other one. He, uh, not a huge tiger, but you can see he's starting to get the little flex here and there on the wings. So he's going to be a very, very dark one, which is cool. I don't think I've had one that dark before. So... It'll be interesting to see how he turns out. But uh, you can see he's molting still, so he's still got a lot of changes that are going to happen. And this is what I wanted. I wanted the birds to start getting custom and sort of get used to these boxes so that um, this will be a motivation. You can see this cockbird down here, he's already sitting in the corner calling a hen, which is okay. Uh, I'm not putting nest balls or anything in there. We may consider that later on in the race season, but I don't really see any issues you know, we've wanted me to do it so at the moment i'm just going to leave all these open this year and just get ahead of the curve last year we, i tried to do it but just didn't really pan out that way it kind of um you know the birds are a bit young it's a little bit rushed because we had to get all the boxes sorted but now we've got it um we'll get the pairs a couple months just to get settled in and then once we start tossing we'll toss them and whatever from this side so hopefully probably in two three days time the weather's cooled enough and we'll be able to fly them which is um pretty good and we'll see how they react because uh, most of these haven't come into this section before so we'll see if they'll come in no problems which i don't think it will be uh, but that's where we're at, at the moment getting these ones settled in and loft flying these ones hopefully in a couple of days see you soon